In this video, we're going to focus on the annual savings insight. Here in this plan, we have some shortfall from age 80 onwards, and that's when there's not enough liquid assets or income in the plan in order to meet their needs. But there is, however, in their pre-retirement years, some surplus income. Now, by default, Voyant spends regular employment surplus income. It doesn't do this with all types of surplus, but for regular employment income, it assumes it's spent. In other words, it doesn't get saved anywhere when there's surplus. So let's go to Insights and look at the annual savings into site to see how much Julia would need to save every year from the start until her retirement in order to get rid of this red in the plan and run her assets to zero. A couple of things to note about the annual savings insight. It doesn't take into account affordability. So it's roughly $10,000 a year that she'll need to save, but it doesn't know whether or not she has a spare $10,000 a year. In this case, we can look at the surplus income each year and see that yes, she does have this surplus. So we can model this in a what if, if we want to. And the other thing to note about the annual savings insight is that it assumes this money is invested. So it will grow at the investment growth rates set in your plan settings. Just check this, go to year view when in the insight and go to investments. You'll see the need analysis account set up specifically for the annual savings, the contribution of this amount going in every year and the growth rate on it is taken, as I say, from your plan settings. In this case, I've got 6% in my plan settings and 0.5% in fees. So the net growth is 5.5. What you could do now is make a what if scenario to save money into an investment account. go to the investment account that you've entered, set up a contribution. In this case, we'll put $10,000 every year and go to timing. Tell it to start at the beginning of the plan and end at retirement, just like the annual savings insight. And we'll just check in growth as well. Here we are just using an enter growth rate of 6% and that's fine because that's going to match what the annual savings insight was. So let's save. And that's the red gone from the plan. If I go to assets, they should have just about run out by the final year. To double check the contribution, set up how you'd like and the, the amount of the contribution, go to year view and investments. This is the investment account I'm saving money into. You can see the $10,000 contribution and it's able to make that contribution in each year of the plan. If you click on the investments tab, you'll see that it's planned to make 10,000 and it did. If there's a discrepancy here, it would possibly mean that there was not enough surplus money in the plan in order to pay this amount in. Thanks for listening.